Welcome back, Chargeheads. Um, we've got uh, quite a few developments that's happened with the Trikey. Uh, hashtag special Trikey. Uh, come a bit closer. Come and have a look. We've got it working. Um, we uh, took it up the road. I didn't die. We didn't blow ourselves up. And we didn't start a fire. So quite a few benefits, really. All good things. Um, but, Vinny, if you come in a bit closer, we had a few issues with the um, chain Basically, uh, the motor started to twist because of the bracket and the uh, chain just naffed off. Um, now, since then, um, I've actually left the trike with Vinny. Brave, and, brave person. Well, confident, <laughs> very confident in the abilities. Now, you might be able to tell there's quite a few differences. Um, let me just take over from Vinny here. I'm going to go straight into the money shot, which is the thing that took us pretty much a whole episode, which is the bracket. Can you tell us a bit about this bracket? I'm going to, I'm going to swap sides with you and just do a little rotation there. Okay, so I can tell you more about why we've changed the bracket. So the original bracket was essentially we were trying to make it work with what essentially we had in the garage, which is fine, nothing wrong with that. A bit of DIY, right? Uh, unfortunately, because uh, the length of the chain that we needed to incorporate, it just didn't give us the movement that we had in that metal. So the motor slipped because um, there wasn't enough material to hold it on to it. Kind of went like from there to like there. Yeah, it's basically the bracket wasn't doing the job we needed it to do. So uh, sure enough, I spent several several nights after we uh, acquired some better metal, and then I made it into what we have here, which is. A much nicer fixed platform uh, obviously we're using the original bolt holes there uh, made up some spacers to make sure that they've got the right distance between them uh, that was probably the bit that took the longest if i'm honest uh, just work out exactly where it needed to go again because obviously we work out those dimensions obviously we changed it from the last time um it was great fun spending all that time making some stuff that apart from now is never going to be seen well that's it because the <laughs> battery box which is just there uh the holder We'll be covering this beautiful work and uh, labour of love um, from yeah from being seen. A lot of work went into that bracket, which uh, Vinny's kindly done for me uh, while I left it with him. Um, I'm going to zoom out a bit now because the first thing that catches my eye is uh, something with quite a few uh, uh, well-known batteries. Uh, other batteries are available uh, with some wires that come down here, and that is to connect this little beauty here the rear light uh because you know safety is important making sure that we can be seen if i'm on a um you know uh, a late night beer run so we've got uh how many batteries we've got there to there's eight there to give you 12 volts um and then what have we got if we move it down we have new pedals because the other ones were bent to buggery <laughs> um and the reason they were bent is because when the brakes were so seized up I needed, well, you would have seen the first episode, I was really giving it some uh, pasty to get the wheels going. Um, and that, I actually bent the pedals. So we've got these ones, which are pretty retro coolness. Probably had some on my BMX back in the 80s. <laughs> awesome. Um, and Vinny's also repurposed the original Turbo Boost. Thank you. Um, was there. And it wasn't actually Turbo Boost at all. It what was, was it? It was... Uh... For reverse, the controller's got a reverse function on it. Uh, uh, so we tried that out. This bloody However, uh, the freewheel mechanism for the pedals didn't like that, and you were basically having to pedal backwards whilst it was reversing. Not ideal. So we've got a switch for the front light, which is an LED bulb, which has been uh, engineered. It's a custom. Custom. Custom bulb, custom yeah. bulb one, one inside here. We won't show you uh, the secrets in there. Uh, I've got a nice little uh, phone holder there. Uh, Google Maps. Good for your GPS speedo. Exactly what we need it for. So you know you're not doing more than 15 and a half miles an hour. Exactly. Heaven forbid. Um, so just as a quick summary, we've got the light switch there for front and rear light. We've got phone holder, new pedals. We've got the amazing new bracket here, uh, which is actually going to stop it from twisting. Uh, due to this very powerful 250 watt motor. The only way that's um, twisting is if something breaks. <laughs> Don't tempt me. Uh, you know what I'm like. Um, then we've got the batteries here for the rear uh, light. Um, is there anything else I've missed? Well, speaking of breaking things. Ah, uh, yes. This didn't all go 100% well. No. So uh, we had a few issues with the, the controller. Vinny, tell us all. 
So, having got the mounts working, I took it for a few little runs up and down, um, and it was working it was working quite nicely. No chains coming off. Um, so I thought, oh, okay, bit of confidence. We'll take it out for a little, little long endurance run to see how far we can get on it. Unfortunately, after half a mile, it just stopped. Stopped yeah. dead. Uh, wouldn't do anything else. So, disconnected the battery for safety. Had a little look. Nothing. Nothing seemed to be going on there. Uh, so just started pedalling back home. Couldn't find anything wrong with it. Connected it back up when I got home and it was working again. So again, took it out for another little grow. Got to the same place, cut out again. Weird. Oh, deja vu. Half mile. That's sure, strange five, range. 5G, uh, maybe uh, interference? Uh, no, <laughs> probably not. I think we'll leave the tin hats at home. Look at me. Do you not want to look like this? No, uh, so I surmised it was probably a heat issue in the controller. Uh, so I took the controller apart, um, and sure enough, the power uh, power transistors in there, uh, the heat thermal compound was not good enough on them. Uh, some of them didn't even, have, didn't even have any. Unfortunately, that seems to have damaged it, having ridden it with that in that state. Uh, I did try putting some new thermal paste on there, but that doesn't, hasn't fixed it. That controller's no more. So Vinny, <laughs> after working so, so hard just to get everything sorted, and then the controller beat us, well, there's a lot of things that beat us on this quite quite heavily. Um, but oh, yes, fun, fun, fun as as we like at charge heads. So yeah, the um, I contacted the company and they have yet to come back to me. So we will see what they come back with. So uh, what we're gonna do? We're gonna have uh, I'm gonna take the controller off. Hopefully they'll send me one before uh, fully charged show and uh, I'll be able to fit it at home myself before the show and we'll have it there. Uh, that is the plan, but we're gonna open up the controller, show you what's wrong, and uh, yeah, just give you a bit of an insight into uh, into what how it all works, really. So, um, she's so close, so close. Nearly there. So here we have the controller, uh, which we've taken out of uh, Senor Trikey over there, and oh, Vinny's gonna just take us through the basics. Let's just go for a little bit of power. So we've got obviously our positive and negative wires coming in from the battery. Those go into the other side of this circuit board, which uh, positive is this so little. Can, yeah, I noticed it said here. P plus there, and then P minus just there. Yeah, P minus obviously goes out to the whole circuit. P that plus goes off to various things over here, uh, but the big obvious things it goes to is these power transistors. So these along here, um, this bar was what you mentioned about the screws on the outer case. This is um, the power transistors that do the switching for each of the phases of the motor. Um, and that's the thing that we think is probably most likely at fault because certainly this side, uh, this one didn't even have any thermal paste on it at all when I took it apart. Uh, obviously we've got some thermal paste here. Over fault. here, this power capacitor here, um, so if I go back just a second, uh, you can see from the power here, which is this buzz bar, it goes into mm -hmm. one, two, three power transistors, which are on the other side. They've got three little legs. Um, so it puts power in and then it sends them, when it's when they're switched, it will send them into these three sections. And what do the power transistors do? Uh, so that works like a relay. So you can have a low power switch turning on a much higher power circuit. So turning the phases of the motor on. If you turn it over again, I just want to get a zoom in on these transistors. So we can see what the one on the edge here, because you actually had one, oh, it's not a focus there, all, but yeah, you can see it's just, that one there, the black thing there, and then you can see the three pins just ahead of it. Um, but yeah, sorry, quite carry on, mate. Uh, yeah, so looking at these, they're obviously using one power transistor to maybe switch the other three. Uh, not quite sure exactly what goes on, but this doesn't look very good here. This is one of the main power transistors going into this section. Um, that then powers up the three other transistors, which if I turn it back over again in a moment, um, you can then see it comes back out this pad into these three lines here, um, which is then your three phases. Oh, I see. Yeah. So the, um, the like the little metal. Pad. Yeah, the little, the little pad is then okay, goes cool. off to that little wiggly line, which goes into the um, circuit back out to the motor. Yeah. But you can see this one. So there's something not right with the solder here. Um, so it's possibly that's an issue as well. I mean, th I, I think this has issues with the power transistors anyway. Um, I'd like to say, I'm looking at it, I think that capacitor's probably blown. 
and some of the power transistors are not happy because they didn't have any thermal paste on them so they've got cooked. Well let's hope that they send a, uh, a new controller swiftly so I can get it sorted for fully charged. If not, it's uh, full uh, slate mode, I think. Uh... Well you can still use the pedals. And you've still got the LED lights, so it is an electric truck. I would tell you to get out, but we're all here outside. It's... And it's my house. This... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you got me there. Uh, I'm leaving. <laughs> With my trikey, obviously pedalling without electric. God damn it! Right, right, it's gonna go in the van. I'm gonna take it home, and we hopefully they'll send a controller uh, fairly swiftly because they did send parts before fairly quick, and then we can get it connected. And fingers crossed that will solve the fun and games, and we can have a different type of fun and games. Really. Mm, wheelies would be fun. Yeah, cool. All right, well, uh, yeah, signing off until uh, hopefully the controller arrives in the post.